um, and welcome to the what was going to be a webinar for uh, tracking and queue lists and some fade times. So due to the the sound um, cutting out, we've I've decided to record this separately um, rather than do it as a webinar, so to speak, just so that it's a little bit uh, easier for you guys to understand um, the topic that we're going to be doing today rather than having to have the sound uh, keep cutting out. So my apologies for those of you that did turn up that that you weren't able to, uh, to continue with it. So what I want to do is show you some tracking in a queue list that I've uh, created earlier on and some of the fade times and if you have any questions please feel free to email us with those questions and we can try and help you with the best that we can. So I've created a queue list at the moment. If I press go each queue is tracking and continuing to the next queue and then the next queue. So you'll notice this is queue number one. We've got queue two, queue three and queue four and we go all the way back to queue one. So we can open um, the playback view for this in two different ways. So for this we can go to open window, select the queue list and it will open that window for us on here, our playback view. Or you can just select or tap your queue list once and it will appear. So if we just scroll along a little bit, uh, here we go, we've got our tracking column. So at the moment it's automatic default is set to global. So if it's set to global, um, what that will mean is, is it will follow the global setting which you defined under your playback options for your queue list. So at the moment that would currently mean that each queue, like it's showing now, is continuously tracking to the next. If we select it, so uh, I'm going to do this with queue 2 in particular, you'll notice in the soft keys menu on the right hand side we've got different tracking options. Now underneath global we've got an option that's called track which will uh, basically it will force a queue to track um, even if you defined it not to in your playback options. We have block um, so the block will stop all previous tracked values and it will start all over again. So for example, if I put this one on block, so if we select soft key C, I'm just going to go all the way back to key 1 for this. Okay, so we've got key 1. The tracking for this is global, so it should automatically track to the next one. However, when we go to key 2, you'll notice that the tracked values from key 1 have been stopped. And when I now fire to Q3, those haven't been reinstated. It started anew, so to speak. Back to Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and Q1. Okay, if I select the tracking option again for Q2, I have another option here called Q only. So I'm just going to select Q only for this one. Q only. Uh, will play what's in the contents of the queue and it will play any tracked values that have been output previously. However, uh, when you continue, the queue will not track forwards. So we're going to start with one again, press go. Oh, let's just go back round. Queue number one. Queue number two. So queue number two has the contents of that queue itself and it's also got the tracked values from queue one. However, when we go to Q3, you'll notice that those, the value which was the source 4s from Q2 have disappeared. So they haven't continued to track. We could go to Q4 and start again. So Q1, which is global, so these values will be tracked. And they've tracked onto Q2, which the source 4s. However, when we continue, those values will de disappear. Okay, so I'm just going to select Q only again. We have another option called Solo. Now, Solo won't output any previous tracked values, um, only the contents of that queue, so to speak. However, when you next fire that uh, queue, the tracked values will just reinstate and continue. So we're just going to have a look now. So Q1, we've got uh, the red uh, BMF files there with their gobo. Q2, it's only playing the um, sorry, it's only showing you the source files that are in that queue. Q3, it's reinstated those tracked values from Q1, which were the red BMFLs, um, and 
you have the contents now of Q3, but you do not have any contents from the Q2. So those values from Q2 haven't continued to track. And we can continue there. Okay, I'm just going to select solo again. So we looked at block earlier on. Um, so the block, um, as I mentioned, will stop all previous track values and it will start again. There's also an option here which is block shapes. Um, so that would just do a very similar thing but just with uh, the shapes. However, if you have got a shape in your queue list, which I think we have for this one, cool. You'll notice that there is an option, if I was to have, say, Q5, there will be an option underneath the circle to toggle um, the tracking on and off for it. So that's also another option that you can use with regards to trying to block shapes. So with these tracking options, uh, it's entirely up to you on what look you're trying to do. It's really good uh, for theatre uses, so to speak. And when you start to create your queue list, and I'll quickly show you now. So if we were doing a brand new queue list, we'll go to record, create queue list, assign it to fader. And you'll notice on the soft keys menu, I'm just going to go to next, the next page. And we've actually got the option here for our tracking to change it here. So if we select tracking, it's currently on global. We could say for the tracking, I just want to have it on solo. Um, so you could say, I don't really want to have any anything tracking from the previous ones. I just want to have it on um, the solo. So we've got the cues playing on themselves. Or you can just have it on block. It's entirely up to you. So you have got that option before you finish completing your queue list to, to change the tracking for it, so to speak, rather than going back into the playback view, what we've done now, and individually changing your tracking. I'm just going to open the playback view again. Just tap and select it once. Let's have a look. Okay, here we go. So global um, is fantastic if your building looks up for um, a particular state or if it's for a scene, for example, um, when you're doing theatre work. We've also, with I particularly think with solo, it's good if you have a scene and you want to change, say, one thing about it and then you want to go back to that scene and then continue and block is fantastic if you just want to create a fresh you just want to start and uh, stop all previous track values and start again okay so we've had a little look at tracking uh, for the last bit we're going to have a look at our fade times and we've got quite a few to choose from so what I'm going to do is change the fade time and I'll change my tracking back to global actually as well okay so we're going to have a little look at the times. I'm going to change my fade in time on Q1 and I'm going to make it a yeah, three second fade in. So we can use the soft keys for this on the side or you can use your syntax buttons, it's up to you. Press enter and we now have a three second fade in time for Q1. If you want you can add a delay in as well and I'll show you that in a second. So I'm just going to press go. Q3, Q4 and I'm going to go to Q1. You'll notice now that besides it taking three seconds uh, in total for the whole look to arrive and fade in, that we now have a progress bar in version 10 that's now showing on the queue rather than at the bottom on the right hand side. So we can continue, press go, three, four, Q1 and you can see the progress bar again. And this will always show up on the queue if you've got any times attached to your queue. Okay, so we can add a delay in as well. So I can say, right, I want a delay of two seconds. I can select the right bit. Oh, my apologies, that's the, let's try. Cool, there we go. Okay, so delay in of two seconds um, with a fade in time of three seconds. So what should happen now is there should be a gap, um, a delay of two seconds before the fade in starts. So we'll go back, we'll go round Q4, and we're going to just go go to go. So the delay's happened and the fade in's now finished. Once you've done that, um, your fade out and your delay out time are usually defaulted uh, as in, as you can see. So if there's a delay out or a fade out time, it would be the same as your delay in and your fade in time. But you can change that as well if you want to. 
effect you can add in a fade out time say of two seconds rather than having it as three seconds for example this just gives you much more control over your cue list it means that you can make things uh, you can make your cues look like how you want them to fade-ins are really nice actually uh, rather than having to say snap from one cue to the next and as you can see because it has control of all the intensity and any attribute that's on that cue as well we could do exactly the same for the next one we could say okay this time I just want a fade in of two seconds press enter and when we press go everything fades in nicely to two seconds now if I wanted to and you'll notice that I've got some filters on the side here there's something new that's in version 10 where we can actually add our own filters rather than having the show all and just the times filter so we can actually create our own and then save that as a customized filter so what I want to do is because I've been having a look at times and uh, tracking I just want to make sure that rather than having all of these columns that I'm going to get rid of the ones that I don't want so on the right hand side in playback view you'll notice that I have an edit columns selection here I'm just going to deselect the columns that I don't want so I want to keep this one and these ones but I don't want the rest of them so I'm just going to deselect them okay and you'll notice that that's now made my list um, a lot shorter so to add this we're going to go to record you'll notice that we've now got something at the bottom that's called add so if we select that one it's now added this filter for us we can set legend for it so we can give it a name go to soft key C select the filter and I'm just going to name this one uh, times and tracking press enter and that's all updated for us and you can add a picture legend to that as well if you want to now when I get out of playback view and I go back into playback view it will automatically go to the last filter that you created so it's now gone back to times and tracking for us here if I created another one it would go back to that one and so on but you can always uh, switch between them you could have some for say moving dark if you wanted to some for your link um, anything that you want is entirely up to you okay so that was um, what the webinar was going to be today uh, it was going to be regarding so the tracking that we've had a look at and some fade in times as well if you've got any questions please feel free to email us at training at avalites.com in the meantime please feel free to join us for the webinar next week which uh, if you want to register you can go online at avalites.com and select the training tab as well that will be looking at moving dark shapes in your queues and auto loads as well so thank you very much and have a nice rest of your day